I knew it was happening. When it first started, it wasn't that big of a deal. When this first started, I was happy I got extra day off. I'm pretty sure it was a Monday night, but it could have been a Tuesday. The moment I knew my life had changed. It was a sunny Friday morning. I just woke up and went downstairs. I was enjoying my early spring break, so I slept in and it was already 12. I was wandering through the house, thinking about what I could do today. After some time, I ate breakfast and went upstairs again. I was checking my school email to see if there were any updates on the corona crisis from the school. I saw some emails from teachers that were like a month old, but nothing special. I was about to close the window when I got an email from Alyssa Byrne, the international coordinator. I knew something serious had happened because my mom sat us down in the living room. We never use the living room. If you are sitting in the living room, you know something bad has happened. She told us everything was about to change. I made my way over to the bathroom when there was a knock on my door. I wondered who could be up at 6.15. I cracked my door open until I saw it was my mother. When I opened the door for her to come in, she gave me a sad glance, so I knew it was serious. As I turned off my light to go to sleep, my mom came in and simply said, no school tomorrow, as if it were normal. Then stores started closing. The league started shutting down. We don't know when we are free from our houses. The reality of it all never really struck me until even the mall was closed. I mean, can you believe it? Ugh. I know what I just said should be the least that is worrying right now. I shouldn't be worrying about things like this. It makes me look, what's the word, spoiled. But think about it. What if I ran a moisturizer that day? We had to wash our food. I thought to myself, wash our food? That's when it hit me. That something that is essential to human life could also be the one to take mine away. If I was not careful to clean every bit of my food, I could potentially be eating my killer. Everyone is so paranoid of getting it. You hear a cough and you immediately stay away. I remember one day feeling nauseous and sick, and the anxiety of having COVID made me feel 10 times worse, even though it was nothing. So now we order groceries to the house and have to decontaminate them. Our house is a sacred place now. No outsiders are let in and we aren't let out. I realized that you only find out what's important to you when you lose it. I, for example, never thought that I would in school. But now that I don't have it anymore, I realize that's a big part of socializing. Just seeing your friends every day, I really miss that. I miss seeing my friends. I miss going to the fabric store. Two things that I had taken for granted, but yet were so important to me. And if you think that wasn't scary enough, listen to this. I haven't gone out to eat in a month. A whole month. I miss sushi and bubble tea, barbecue ribs, tacos. I miss my friends. I miss my freedom. I miss sports. I miss the fabric store. So now there's a new normal for all of us, where I can't see anyone outside of my house in less than a six feet distance, and where I take classes online from Monday to Friday. Through all this, I tried to remember the silver linings of COVID. The earth has never been healthier. Smog was clearing because of all the factories shutting down and animals were coming back into their natural habitat. And every day it was beautiful outside. I've never seen so many perfect days in Victoria. So now you see, we are all going through this together. That neighbor you never talk to. That lady that has way too many cats. An old friend you haven't seen in years. Your grandparents that you haven't seen in months. That old person that screams at everybody at the grocery store. Your friends from school. So keep at it. We'll win eventually.